Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. So as you guys know, the new season of Apex Legends has been dropped recently. So here we are today covering the best optimal settings and performance guide for new season of Apex Legends. And I believe after watching this video, most of your problems will be solved. And if not, do leave your specs in the comments below. I'm gonna be replying to each one of you separately. Also, if you guys are new around here, do leave a like and smash the subscribe button and thanks a lot for 40,000 subscribers. I seriously do appreciate you guys a lot. But 95% of you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel. So please do me a favor. Consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so beginning now with the first tab that is creating a restore point. And this is really important. So as you guys know, create a restore point allows you to create... Uh, image file of your computer so just go over here select local disk C or any local disk with say system over here and make sure that protection is turned on then simply click on create name it apex and then click on create I highly recommend you guys do not skip this step because it's really important so that if anything goes wrong you can always restore everything back to normal once it's done simply click on close and then close system properties as well step number two is disabling Xbox game bar and it's very simple simply search for game bar so you need to search for game mode and then come and then come to xbox game bar over here then simply turn this thing off and also disable this then go to game mode and then make sure to enable game mode step number three is right in this screen which is in the related settings over here you'll find in graphic settings simply open it up and then over here make sure that turn on hardware accelerated gp scheduling is turned on then simply click on browse and then you have to find your apex legends so if you guys don't know where your apex has been stored simply go to steam and then right click on apex legends then go to properties and then go to local files and then click on browse then you can copy the whole path come back to settings click on browse and then paste the path over here then simply select r5apex.exe hit add go to options and then make sure to select high performance over here then click on save and you are done with the settings part step number four is adjust the appearance and performance of windows simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and you'll find this option under control panel over here simply select adjust for best performance but make sure this will make your graphics in your computer very blocky and chunky so if you are on a very very low end pc then only do this step or else try skipping this once you're done with this next step is the apex legends fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below simply download and extract the pack and you'll find in three folders first one is for registries and you'll find in four registries over here so first you need to run high priority dot registry if that's giving you any issues you can go back to default priority then you have disabled power throttling so make sure to run this as well and also run threat priority because these three are most important so make sure to run these three registry files and this one is for backup in here you'll find two software first one is the msi utility v3 simply right click and then run this as administrator okay so once you are here you are looking for your gpu so for me here is mine simply from undefined Click on it and then select high then click on apply and then close it this will set your gpu priority to high so your gpu will start drawing more power and then perform much well while playing games next is unpark cpu cores so cpu have a tendency to park their cores if you are not using them so if you have any cpu which is over quad or exa core then you can use it Simply right click and then run it as administrator as well. Now the app should open just like this. Once you are over here, simply slide this whole bar to 100%. Click on apply and then OK and then click on unpark all. This will unpark all cores in your PC and then allow all of the cores to work as fast as they can. This is a really important step because this will save a lot of processing power and allowing your processor to render things much faster. Once you're done with that, simply close it and then go back to the FPS pack. 
In here, you'll find another file which is the launch option.txt. Simply open it up and copy the whole line of text. Then open up your Steam. Now right click on Apex Legends and then go to properties. And in the launch option, simply paste all of this. Once you're done with that, next step, I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. Exit lag is a free to use software for 3 days, but it will help you guys to reduce your network issues drastically. Simply go to the link in the description below and download exit lag's 3 days trial from here. Once you've downloaded the app, it should look like this. You can simply search Apex over here from over 250 games to choose from and then Apex will be out. You can simply select a region for you guys. For me, it's gonna be AE Dubai, but if you guys don't know your region, simply leave it to automatic. But I know my region, so I'm just gonna choose it. And as you guys can see, I'm going to get over 20 milliseconds ping over here. Simply click on apply routes, and then Apex will be added to your recents. Then go to the tool section over here, and then make sure to enable the second option, last two options, and then these two options over here. Also enable real time optimization as well as smart optimization. Then go to FPS boost section over here and then make sure to enable two of these options over here and then also disable super fetch over here and once you are done with that simply close exit lag. Alright once you start using exit lag it will immediately show you results. So you guys can always get a subscription for exit lag. Over here as you guys can see they have monthly, semi-annual and quarterly based subscription. And if you use code BEARFOX20, you'll get flat 20% off on any of this for the first purchase. So make sure to choose it wisely. Now it's time for the in-game settings. So open up Apex Legends. Alright, so once you are in-game, simply go to settings over here and then locate video settings. Now in display settings over here, for display mode, I highly recommend you guys to play on full screen no matter what and the aspect ratio should be set to native, resolution should be set to native and then all of these options over here are just personal preferences. Moving to advanced settings, simply copy my settings. V-Sync should be set to disabled, Nvidia Reflex should be set to enable plus boost, anti-aliasing should be none, texture streaming budget should be set to low or very low according to your GPU. For me, I have a 8 GB graphics card so I can set it to high or very high. For texture filtering, I highly recommend you guys to go down because this will reduce your GPU load. For ambient occlusion quality, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing to disable because that will save your GPU power a lot. Now these two options doesn't really matter a lot but if you guys do not have a really good CPU, I highly recommend you guys to turn it down to low. For spot shadow detail, you can set it to low or high doesn't really matter a lot. Volumetric lighting should be set to disable and dynamic spot shadows should be set to disable. Now for model detail this will not matter much but you guys can set it to medium. Effects detail set it to low. Impact marks set it to disable and ragdolls should be set to low. Once you're done with all of these settings, simply click on apply and then save these settings. That was it for this video guys, I hope I could have helped you out and if I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button, it really helps me out a ton. And with all that said, we'll see you guys in the next video, until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.